Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Now, today I was going to do some other stuff, but I've changed my mind and I'm going to do revisit the digital miner, which we'll look at first. The reason I want to revisit the digital miner is having problems with the auto pull function. Well, with some help I figured it out. Look, there's the yellow zone now, but to put a torch on that, let's quickly go up. If I can, that is a Huh. Got it. So what we've got here is a digital miner set up. And at the back of the digital miner I do have this quantum entangler porter, which is set up as well and is on channel one. So that sends all the items out. In fact I could turn that off for the sake of demonstration. Let's just uh, uh if I delete that, what happens? Okay, good. So it's got no 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 destination. So on here, on the digital mine, it's all set to auto pull eject and silk touch is off. Now the reason silk touch is off is because of what I'm going to mine now is just landscaping, and I don't really care if I pick up stone or cobblestone. It's not an ore, it's a valuable ore. So in the configuration I've got here two layers from I'm doing from the night 72, which is the bottom layer I want, to 74 of the max. And here we've got the inverse mode, which is on. So there's no filter, so that basically means it will mine everything. Let's have a look see if that works. So let's just start it. It's only got 270 blocks to mine. Should let this go on now. One problem is when you mine sand, you'll see it happening over here shortly. It'll also mine torches, of course. What happens with sand, which I should pick them up, otherwise, we'll lose them, is it goes underneath and it pulls it down one layer. There we go, you see, they should be pulling up these torches and things, and it's going fairly fast because we've got the um. The silk touch off and there's plenty of power and of course it's a bit risky because now we've, we've got the torch being dropped and here with sand of course when it does it it starts at the bottom which you can't see and the sand drops down let's just come over here a bit you see it's how it's working it's now going to do this next row and the sand so we have to go around at least one more time so that it'll pick up the st and finish the sand off It won't take very long. This is working fairly fast. I'm just going to pick around these torches. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the torches off because it's going to mine them again. It's nearly finished. You can see it's got about one more row to do, and that's probably about it. Let's go and have a look at how far it's got. Oops, missed. Try again. 40 to go. I only actually picked up some cactus as well. Oops, and it's just mined, it's <laughs> everything underneath it. Right, fine. But I'm going to have to go back and see if I can reach this. If I can, then it's great. We'll just uh, take the torches out of here, and we'll let it stop it and start it again. In fact, it doesn't work. So you have to reset it, go back to configuration, hasn't changed, go back again and start it again. This time there's the, this lot. So that's it now done. So everything should be now flat. Stop that, reset it, configure it, go back again and start it again. So that was actually in three layers in fact, it didn't do two. So it actually includes the one above it. Doesn't matter in the case. So the last thing, the next thing you want to do, you'll see down here, this is the right level. But there's some other items in here. So here we've got stone, coal and um, sand. So what we're going to do is I want to, want to do is to replace these items with sandstone. So I've got on the top here, let's take this to hover mode, so underneath the chest. And here I've got here some sandstone. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go along here and then reconfigure this again, reset it, 
configure and I'm going to change it now to do minimum level 71 and the maximum layer is going to be 72 in fact I think it probably could even be 72 72 but that's fine so now we need a new filter so we're going to do a stack item so we've got sand what I want to do is I want to replace the sand with as replacement sandstone and save that in fact let's just change the radius here to 10 to see if it actually starts to work and there are the there are the things as well down here we've got to do stone so let's do the stone as well while we're up here I've got one piece of stone so let's go back to configure new item stack item stone I want to replace this with sandstone save that uh, invert is now off so we want to not invert those two and then let's see if this works start so yes you see we come down here turn it off again what's happened Ah, it's missing sandstone because it was taking it out of here. Right, so let's go back here now and shift to right click this. Uh, no, M, I want to get this to be configuring items. Yes, I have to go up again. Stand on the chest if I can get on it. Right, and then I can take this item. And I think it, it's either one of two things. I could either shift right click it here. I'll try that. No, we're still not, not got any sand. So we'll only have to configure this to being pull. And then this time it should be okay. Let's stop it, reset it, and start it again. So it's still got some missing blocks. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to remove this. So we'll have to change this back now to wrench. Remove the... Oops. Shift right click this and this block here and put down the bin directly here. Ah, as you can hear, it's working straight away. And it's replacing the sand and the stone with sandstone. And it didn't do this, this block of coal because we haven't got any coal in there. Of course, those items are being sent out of here, or would be, if we turn this back on again. So let's turn this back on again. So we want to set number one. Take that and say set. That's probably already done. So everything should now be coming out of here if it's set to the right mode. Eject is on. They're not ejecting that. I have to stop it and restart it again. is on da, 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 da. but it's not ejected it maybe that's the problem with this thing here let's have a look that's definitely set and it's public that's fine um how about so the output is the front let's make that the input as well for some reason it doesn't seem to be coming out of here Never mind, it, was, it has worked in the past, so we'll forget about that for the time being. But as you can see, it's now replaced everything that I wanted it to replace. Here. So I'm going to just change the radius now. Stop that, reset it, and then I'm going to go and configure this to being 21. Take that, and let's get it, let it get done with its job. And start that. So it's now got 490 to do, and I hopefully we have enough sandstone in there. If not, it simply doesn't. As you can see, it's working away over there. Oh, 
I'm a bit confused why it's not ejecting, but never mind. Must be something wrong with the configuration of this after. Oops, of course, I've forgotten to put a torch down here as well. We don't want mobs spawning on top of it, do we? All the faces input should work. Never mind. So, now the other thing I was going to look at today, I suppose we'll put some torches down when this is finished as well. They dug up the torches that were there. In fact, I probably could put those down now. Is this Paxels? Making Paxels is a bit of a manual process, and I wanted to try to automate this. So, what I've done is I set up some of these. So, these are formularic assemblicators, and in this one here, I've got wood. And what that's going to do is it's going to generate planks. Oh, wood? It doesn't, don't think it tells you much about that there. So, we set that to auto mode. And at the bottom here, I've set it to pulse. So when I pulse this, and here's a button, it will make one. So there we are, four planks. And these planks here are the same thing. Here we can do the same thing with planks, and we can generate sticks. And then we can, the next one along is we can generate axes. So auto pulse mode is on, so one pulse. Should be set to pulse mode, yes it is. So I right click that. And you see, it's produced an axe. The same here for pickaxes. And this one isn't set to pulse, that's set to the pulse. And pulse it. Oops. There we get one pickaxe. Next one here, pulse is correct. The mode is off, that's correct. So let's just simply pulse that. One shovel. And the last one puts these three together with some sticks. So the next thing I want to do is to get this to be pulsed in a sequence. That one's actually disabled. But the first two also want to be disabled or set to a high level. Let's set these to high. Oh, wrong way. High, that's it, good. So it'll generate, so it can't generate any sticks at the moment because it's got nowhere to put them. I've set up here some uh, piping or cabling for this and here we're going to put the these machines but first of all we're going to generate the circuit to do the sequence so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put in some repeaters and I've got some repeaters here with this just out of the way I've got some a comparator which we also want and I've got some redstone here and I think that's all I need for this particular exercise. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a repeater down, four, four of those down like this way around I think, yes, four repeaters like that and then we're going to come back here and put some more redstone down here and then we're going to put a block. So let's remove, I don't need the bow for the time being. So I'm going to put down a block, in this case I'm going to use sandstone. And I'm going to put a torch, a redstone torch on this one, which I should also have that missing slot. I thought there was something missing. Like that. Now what this torch is going to do is it's going to allow this whole process to, to cycle. So let's put some more redstone down. And we can also slow the process down a bit too with some more um, repeaters right, I'll put the two together like that and then we'll just carry on going with some redstone and when I connect this up it will start to cycle which should do maybe I need to move this one out of the way I'm not 100% sure with redstone yet I'm still learning my way through it That's the rest of down there. Ah, oh, I think I'm doing something daft here. I think I need to put a one on the top of here, and then we have a torch down here like that. And that turns that off. Turn it on again. 
Oh, I think I haven't gone far enough around. My bad. So let's put the rest of the redstone around here. Like that. Now it's working as I expect it to do. Redstone can be quite tricky actually. Let's put down a torch while we get thinking about it. Uh, somewhere in the middle here will do fine. Let's light it up. Now you see what's happening. These are going getting triggered one after the other in the sequence. Then we can slow it down a bit so that the, the trigger's lang longer. So the sequence goes slower. Now, to stop this sequence, all we have to do is to put down a redstone torch, or a redstone signal like this, and that'll stop it. As you can see, now it's stopped. It's not starting yet. Remove the torch, and it carries on. Good. So now what I'm going to do is I want some way of counting these. So what I've got here is I would like to draw some more redstone down here. Pass the torch like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and I'm going to get a counter. So the way to count, or one way to count anyway, is to use a hopper. So we can put a uh, a block down here and on the other side of the block we want to put a redstone torch now when this redstone torch is on the hopper is not going to work and opposite the hopper I'm going to put a um, dropper so I'm going to just put down a block here to put the dropper on it let's get a dropper like that and put it to face it was wrong one there again there we go so now I want to put if I can get up, I just need to turn on my jetpack. Right, now I want to put the hopper so that it's facing. Let's do that. Actually, this way is probably easiest. So it's facing into the dropper like this. You click it right, click it, and you'll see it's now facing into that. I'm going to put a torch on top of the dropper. Shift click it, and that will go through there. Now, because this red turn torch is on, if you put anything in here, it stays in, it doesn't move, as you can see. If I remove the, the torch and have a quick look back in here, you'll see the items are getting moved out of here and being put into the dropper. Let's go and pick up that torch again. So that basically then acts as a counter. So we can now put into here our six stone or sand doesn't matter what material you use and then we can then trigger this circuit to go through again and we'll see as it goes through each one of each time if i put my stones there yes i have what's it already in ah oh, hold on see now it's got the torches on so it's not done actually it's too low it's too slow that's the problem it's not counting individually, so I probably have to move these back again. So that the pulse is then shorter. I'm not sure exactly which one I have to move back, to be honest with you. I'll try that again. Maybe it's this one I have to move back. Yeah, that's counting far too fast. So that's just a question of now it's fiddling with these timings in here. Oh. I actually got this wrong. I'm going to have to dig it up again. Cause I'm one row too far forward. And the reason for that is this is where the um, this is where the machines need to be triggered. So let's put this torch down here again, like that. Move everything back on. So I'll try again. Let's get that working again. So we need one here, and then we need the repeater, don't we? Like 
like that. And then of course we have to move everything else back as well. Pick up this as well, so we go back. Very gentle with this pickaxe, it's very powerful. In fact, what I'll do is I'll move these out of the way, swap them over a bit, it makes life a bit easier. Right, I might have to move these back as well, so we'll see. So, those are my four circuits, and now we need a block and a redstone torch on it, like that. And then that should then trigger across onto here. Let's put some and then we just need to make this going round here. I don't I think I can do it like this. Yes, that's now flashing faster. Let's take our eight out and put them back into here. This time it's going once per flash. That's exactly what I want it to do, matching. So now the next thing to do is I, after when this is empty here, I want to stop the cycle. So what I'm going to do to do that, I'm going to put down two sandstone blocks there, jump up here and then put, oops, try again difficult sometimes and I'm going to put the comparator this way around and some redstone and then a torch and that basically inverts the signal so when this hopper is now empty as it is the torch is on when the torch is on we can then drag the redstone from there to here like this and bring that into here so now the cycle stops so when it's empty cycle stops so let's take out of here some sand it's still empty let's put the sand into here now that goes off and the cycle starts to repeat as you can see and it will repeat until this is, is full and that's empty like that so that allows us then to create uh, to pulse these eight times or six times or four times however many pieces of sand you've got in there. So let's go and have a look at these. In fact, what I can do is now I can go back to this and just make sure I'm in the right mode. I think I'm in, I was in wrench, that's good. Let's pick up this one. No, I don't want to pick up that one. I want to pick up this one. This one here is the one that does the axis, which is the first component of a um, Paxel. So I'll put the axle down here and remove this redstone because I don't want it to work straight away because I probably got it wrong. Let's try this one. That's the next one. And we're going to put this one which is pickaxes. We'll double check that in a minute. I'll put the pickaxes down here like that. And oh, actually, I don't want them that way around. I really want them the other way around. Let's just turn them around. And the last one then will be shovels. Which I'm going to put here. Like that. And then I've got some space. And that is for some more cabling. So what we're going to do out of these is we're now going to connect those up. In fact, I'm better use the right ones. Let's move that. I uh, should do that like that. And then move the logistical transporters here I've got plenty of those and what I'm going to do with these is to I'll basically merge them out so like this so then they become out here and then I'm going to put them in front of here now in here I'm going to put a chest and the reason I'm going to put a chest in is basically if you things get messed up in the cycles you've got a way to fix it so let's put the chest down here 
so that's picked up one pickaxe because there must have been a pickaxe in here already ready to go actually that when you pick them up it changes the settings here so let's just turn that on so that's still on pulse and the auto mode is now on same with this one and the same with this one so pulse is correct so now we actually want to get these in the right order so we need to basically pulse each one of those in fact that's why I've created these buttons so you can put the buttons on the side like this and click it and it should generate one axe which it has done fantastic we've already got a pickaxe we don't need to do that one but we need a shovel so let's click this one as well Ooh. I just saw that pick up a pickaxe that's a bit strange and that's in the right order so if you look at the order here we've got axe pickaxe shovel axe pickaxe shovel but I'm a bit confused as to when I pressed oh you know what it is the problem is this is too near this machine so let's just remove that switch and when I was pressing that switch I bet it was triggering both so let's put it on the back did I? Give shadows with the buttons, that's quite neat. Right, now, oh actually it probably won't work that will it, so let's just remove these because I won't be able to put the, the redstone in here now. I'll tell you what we'll do, next one we'll do is we'll put the redstone signals down here like this, because they're all off at the moment, so that's fine. We also know that this bit works, so what we're going to do now is just put in one piece of sand into here. Let's take it out, the 8 out of here. I actually only ever want to put 6 anyway, because the output capacity of the of the formula assembly applicator says that. So now we should get produced one of each. So we've got a pickaxe, an axe, and a shovel. Brilliant. So what we can now do so we can connect up the last of these components here so we want the logistical transporter like this and I also want to change that but first of all pick up this one here so put that down oops wrong one try and get in this hole good sorry I put down the I meant to put down the universal cable and I put that uh, this one I should have clicked the wrong one there we go so as you can see we've already got some paxels in here let's just remove one of these paxels here set that to auto mode on and it's generated another one let's take that out of here so now it's generated two but it's got no more material so what we can then do is we can come along here with this and then we can change the mode to being items and simply get this now to be pull so it's in push now it's in pull and it pushes out these items into here oops I'm just clicking the wrong one let's just make sure I don't do too much with this and you'll see it's now got three and they're in the right or when they're in the order that will produce a paxel remove them out of the way we get another paxel mate now we've got none so if I now put in here we have got in here six paxels yes let's take out one of those so now if we put one piece of sand in here we should get if I got everything right I should take that one piece of sand out of here and put it in here it should trigger this through once you get another set of axes going through as you can see they're coming into here and sure enough we have a last paxel here so that's how it works so if I now want to make six let's go and do that Let's take all of these out of here. I should have space. For some reason the shift didn't work on that one. Let's come over here and put them into it. Let's put them into here. I'll keep this one with me. So the reason I'm using stone packs is because A, they're very cheap. And B, they're not very fierce. So if you're using an obsidian one, you can bash much more than you want to bash. The one thing I haven't done yet is to finish this off, have I? So 
we'll do that in a minute. So what we're going to do next is we're going to put down one cable here, and I'm going to put beside that, if I've got it with me, uh -huh. in my personal chest, I should have another advanced solar, which I have. So we'll just simply put this advanced solar uh, generator here, and that'll then basically give everything in here power. So this should also have the output face here, so let's double check that. It's coming up to night time, but it shouldn't really matter. I don't think we have too many unlit bits. Outside we do. Um, so I want to get this now to bring energy. So I'll now look at this, you can see that's the output face there, and this is an input face. Red is output always, and green is input. In fact, you can then simply right click on this and double check it. So that's the red is the output and dark green is the input. Okay, so that basically means everything's going to get power. Now, the reason this is here is I want to use these last two machines, these last two formula, formularic assemblicators. Oops, I'm not in the right mode for that one. Go back to wrench mode. Pick it up. Now this one here, what we're going to do with this one is we're going to feed it with logs. So we need some more transporters like this. Connect these up. And then basically we're going to get no sticks, sorry. So this is going to contain sticks, as you see. You can connect it up and sure enough, straight away, sticks went into the two items here. So it's producing sticks. In this case, I've got it set to high. So we could use a lever for doing that. Let's create a couple of levers actually. Oh, take it out and you can't put it back in again. All right, let's just do that quickly. Have I got some cobblestone on me? Oh, no, but I've got some in here. Actually, let's make the levers like wrong way around. Doesn't help. Like that. And I've got to put a lever on here and I'll put it on the side. Doesn't make much difference. So now it's in the off position and this is set to high so they won't generate any until I turn it on. Test that. Is it auto crafting mode? Now it's on auto crafting mode and you'll see it's now producing sticks. Filling up these. Which is behaving rather strangely as it happens. There we go. Fine. Turn it off now off. So now I need to go back to hover mode because I, I need to put the last one of these into place here which is, I haven't got it yet. Hmm. Let's go and pick this up. I think I'm still in wrench mode. And this one here is taking logs and it's going to take the logs and it's going to make those into planks. Right, wrong one. That was clever wasn't it? Let's just pick up this and where does it go to? Here we are. I'm going to pick that up in a second. I don't think it'll despawn in the meantime. Oops, yes, that's the problem if you're quite, not quite right. I just have to be a little bit further back and shift click this fast. Oops, wrong one. Brilliant. Try it again. But that should be the one that I want for the sticks. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put down one piece of sand in here, like that, on top of that. And then I can simply put the, this one on top of that without it having to shift click it and fall down. And we can pick it up again. So now I can put this one onto place here. And then we should all have everything set up correctly. So this will make planks. And we want that on high, so I'll put two switches back into place now. Oops, try again, like that. So these won't generate anything or make anything until they're turned on. But also they need power, so that's what this was for here. Because I dragged all the power underneath. I'm going to just basically drag this power up here and connect it to these ones. 
that and one at the top here and then everything gets connected up so now the power is full for both those two so now let's test that out this one output has got nothing in it so we can then turn this on with the switch the lever and it should start I'll have to turn this on as well to produce planks but the planks are coming straight into here as you see that just filled up and then after that it's going to start to fill in this output buffer we'll do the same one here if there's anything else that needs to produce this down there and otherwise everything else is, should be just coming in here 12 oh is it turned off again oh because i yes because i picked it up didn't i so it doesn't remember that part of the configuration so this is correct so now the very last test is to do one more create one more paxel nothing in there completely empty come around here turn off my jetpack by the way it's hover mode so it can be a bit irritating let's just take that one out of here and put into here actually what we could do is make two let's test it put two in and we should see two paxels being generated as you can see the items are coming in now one paxel two and so that's that well a little bit complicated and a bit tricky but it does sort of work the only thing i haven't done here yet is to feed into these machines some uh, stone in fact there's no reason why i couldn't simply put a bin on here with cobblestone on it and then that should just simply drop everything into place so I could put it anywhere actually uh, in fact I have got a bin over here with cobblestone on it let's just pick it up and just see if that actually works as a cobblestone bin I'll replace that later on and in fact there's no reason why this can't go in at the top as well What's it? right there we are now if I simply put that on there does it actually output anything not yet let's just check this mode i need to be in items and then shift right click that top mode and then sure enough these items are now being distributed into all of these applicators so it's now full with 64s in all cases right well there we are a way to make paxels uh, little bit complicated but actually works quite well in fact the next stage you could do is to this is to automate it so that you take the items from the hopper from the dropper and put them back into the hopper but that requires our small latches and stuff like that a bit more complicated so until next time bye for now